It's a diagnosis that can leave new parents overwhelmed, uncertain what it means for their kids' futures. Hearing loss affects one in six Australians, but early intervention is turning fear into hope. Your typical cheeky three-year-old. Are you ticklish? No. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> This seemingly ordinary interaction is actually the result of extraordinary intervention. Yeah, good boy, well done. Max Whitby and his big sister Eleanor were diagnosed with moderate hearing loss as newborns. Never expected, never had any history, so it was a bit of a surprise. The initial diagnosis was overwhelming, but help came quickly. We found out at six weeks, Eleanor got a hearing aid at eight weeks and we started here at Telephone Speech and Hearing at 10 weeks. It's here their children have learned to listen and speak through tailored therapy and community support. One in 1,000 children are diagnosed with hearing loss when they're born. Picking it up that early means they can start therapy as soon as possible and that can set them up for life. These kids can do anything and they can live a normal life in normal schools if we get that support early. Hearing loss can't be cured but it can be managed. High five. Yay! It's like wearing glasses, they'll just they'll wear their aids and it'll just be a part of who they are. Early intervention like this can unlock the brain and the door to endless possibilities. Your telethon donations giving kids like Max and Eleanor a voice. A big cat. A big cat. Cyan Doherty, 7 News.